It's Tuesday morning. Got my coffee. Got my croissants. Right on. Doesn't get any Frencher than this. Uh. And welcome to my vlog. my breakfast I'm drinking my coffee and uh, just looking at some cell phones here and really interested in this HTC Amaze even though the girlfriend said that it has really shitty battery life but it's got some uh, pretty decent specs well except for that Qualcomm processor but whatever but apparently that's the main problem is the battery apparently it's junk well that's what the specs or the um, tech review said. But I've never owned an HTC phone with this HTC Sense UI. I've only played with the regular Android stuff like, you know, my tablet over here or my cell phone. It doesn't really have a skin on it where this HTC is running some Sense UI which completely skins over Android and uh, changes the way it works as far as the skin goes. Works and looks. But um, yeah, I definitely would do the job. That's for sure. Frig yeah. So the other phone I'm looking at is this Galaxy Nexus by uh, Samsung. So there's the phone there. You can like do spinny things with it and stuff. Let me see if we can zoom it out. So yeah, you can click it and you can like take a look at it and stuff. And you know, it's not a bad looking phone. This is the one the girlfriend has. So we'll just go back over to here and scroll back down. Now, for some reason they're saying this one here gets better battery life. Probably because... I don't friggin' know, maybe this here Super AMOLED screen gets better battery life, or... I don't know. But it's got the same size battery, it's running the ice cream sandwich, it's got the 1.2 dual core, instead of the 1.5. Three color LED, apparently it has two mics, that's weird. Buttonless, you know, a bunch of other junk. Yeah, so it does video in 1080p with a 5 megapixel continuous autofocus. I know with that 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, you can do uh, 720p video, I've already checked that out, but it's got the uh, new ice cream Sam, which is, which is what I'm interested in. You know, it's already up to date with the latest version of Android. It's freaking awesome. And the girlfriend's not having any problems putting apps on her phone, so yeah, I don't know. I'm still just trying to figure things out, figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So you don't want people to step on you, no. and yet you sleep right there. It's comfy, leave me alone. Whatever. Yeah, you better say whatever, leave me alone. So I totally drank that coffee, and I'm still tired. So, you know what they say, if one doesn't work, try two. So I started Project Hack and Stab with a dirty old knife I bought from Walmart. Yeah, this is cutting through pretty good. It's cold in here though, but, oh well, whatever. It's like really freaking in there, for frig sakes. Oh well, I'll carry on. Well, I got some of it out. I'm doing what you guys said. Filling up a box. I'm gonna deliver it to him once it's all cut out of there. Oh, for freak's sakes. It so pisses me off. Oh well. I think what I might do is take my two little mini heaters. Um, this guy here. I have another one. I just don't know where the frig it is. Oh, right in front of my face. And this guy here. And plug them in, sit them on the floor in front of the snowblower. And just blast it with heat to melt all the snow. And uh, then I'll get a better idea as to what's in there. Because there's a lot of snow in that blower. So I'm going to go inside and have another coffee. Try and wake the frig up. He'll calm the frig down. Because uh, I'm about to start punching things. Ooh, right face. And go from there. So I suppose the girlfriend didn't come home for lunch today. Oh well, whatever. Alright, I'm going back inside. Wasn't paying attention to the time. And it's time for me to bounce. So let's do this. What the frig are you doing? I was sleeping there. Leave me alone. So you don't want people stepping on you, yet you're sleeping on the blanket. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Freaking weirdo. Alright, I got all my shit together. Gotta let the dog out. We're gonna go outside and have a cigarette. Fire up the car and get the hell out of here. 
So after doing all the reviews, I think the Nexus is still the best buy because I can't deal with the Apple. There's no way in hell I can get an iPhone. Who am I kidding? Nah, but uh, friggin' late for work. Or not late for work, but uh, gotta head to work. Definitely not late. But I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Frig it. I'll talk to you guys in the car. I'm dick. Alrighty, well, it's off to work time for this boy. Yeah, off, off to work time for me. So, um, pitter patter and get at her and try and get this car out of the lot and without colliding with anybody else. I promise. Oops. Oh well, shouldn't have been there. So I've noticed a lot of YouTubers getting picked up by networks lately. A lot of the ones that I watch. Looks like Fluffy Talks got picked up by Sin Studios. Mental note. Brake slush off a wheel well. Did that when I get to work. Uh, Wilson Tech One. I mentioned him a couple times. I made a music video about him on my uh, Arcane Fire and Ice channel. He got picked up by Revision 3. Which is freaking awesome because that guy deserves it. He's been working hard on his shit. He used to back the way I found him actually was kind of funny. I found him through uh, Chris Perillo because he used to do a, a show on Perillo's channel. And then he basically decided to leave Perillo's channel and start doing his own stuff. And it was awesome. I freaking love the way that I love that guy's take on tech. The fact that he's always joking and you know he, he basically says it how it is and he's not biased even though he does have an Apple computer and an iPad, but he uses uh, an Android phone. He prefers Android over iOS for phones. I think that's kind of cool. He's not really a, a biased person. Like me, I, I, I get so upset with Chris Perillo because he's so Mac fanboy that it just drives me freaking nuts. You know, I do like Macintosh, I will say. I, I, I like Apple's uh, Mac OS. It's a good OS, it does the job, it gets the job done. You know, I do dog Apple a lot, but I do have my reasons, you know. The reason why I use a PC is, you try buying an i7 iMac for the price that I paid for that PC. I don't even think you can get a Mac Mini for that price. And even with a Mac Mini, you usually get a shitty video card, like a friggin' the Intel onboard video card, which is garbage. But the thing with Apple is, is you get the whole in-house experience, right? Because they make the operating system to run on their platform. It's all tested in-house, which is the reason why I can install a brand new copy of macOS Lion on my current MacBook, which is, you know, six years old. It'll run, it'll work fine. Where you try and do that with a PC, let's say I take my six-year-old PC and try and work, run Windows 7 on it, it'll run, it won't run well, but it'll run. But then you got all sorts of different types of PCs, right? You can go out and buy the budget $299 friggin' computer, and uh, it'll be slow as frig. Like, it'll, it'll, it'll just chug along and be really slow. Where you go out and you buy the $900 uh, mid-range PC, and you got yourself a decent rig. Well, with Apple, their cheapest rig will run iOS, or iOS frig, Mac OS, no problem, right? You get the whole in-house experience. That's why iPhone, for instance, is so snappy because they make the OS, they make the platform to run it on, and it all works seamless. Where Google Android, if you have a shitty phone, like you bought the cheapest Google phone you could find, you know, even like a, a Chinese clone, it could run like super choppy, be all friggin' slow and garbage, and you just, right away, your experience with, uh, with uh, Android's gonna suck because you're gonna be mad that this phone's a piece of junk. And, but you buy a real good Android phone, and you're like, holy shit, look at all the stuff I can do with this. This is amazing. Like Android apps, a lot of the ones that you get on iOS that it cost money, like for instance, the geocaching app. You gotta pay like 10 bucks for it on the friggin' iOS. Where on the um, Android market, it's free. You know, I, I got a torrent downloader. We're downloading torrents off of uTorrent and uh, friggin' ISO Hunt and all that. And for me, it's free. I, I can I can download this, this friggin' BitTorrent client and I can download torrents on my friggin' phone. I wouldn't do it over 3G, blow your friggin' data plan right away. But I can do it. They don't have that for iOS. I can also access my shared folders on my, com my network at home. I can go on my computer at home, my share folders. So let's say I download Big Bang Theory on my phone, I watch it, awesome, I want to save that episode. I can uh, friggin' Samba connect to my PC, or to my, my media server to boot, and drag and drop the file from my friggin' phone 
to my uh, my media server, and then it's there for any PC to watch. Or what's really cool, I got this new program that was free, media streaming. Turns your cell phone into a DNLA friggin' streamer, so I can actually use my Xbox or my PlayStation 3 and have it find my phone as a DNLA server, and it, it'll stream my media. Like that's friggin' awesome. You can never do any of that without with an iPhone. I just find that that Android has a lot more flexibility and with every new revision it gets better but what really this is what really bothers me about android right we just got the google nexus it's one of the first phones running ice cream sandwich oh crap okay thought he was going to start crossing um it's one of the first phones running ice cream sandwich they don't even have any other devices running it as far as i know now i could be wrong on that but as far as i know it's the first phone running ice cream sandwich and they've already announced iowa or uh, android version 5.0 jupe jupe they're already working on the next version of friggin' Android. It's like, really? You guys gotta slow down here. But if you notice, all of their, um, all of their versions, they have, uh, it goes alphabetical, right? You have A for Alpha, B for Beta, C for, I think it was Caramel, or Chocolate, you know, Chocolate Eclair. D was, I can't remember, I think it was Danish. E was Eclair, F was Frozen Yogurt, G was Gingerbread, H was Honeycomb, I was Ice Cream Sandwich, J was Jube Jube. I wonder what K is gonna be. But they always do, they're, they're doing it by like, sweets that are done in alphabetical order. It's freaking hilarious. I kind of like it. So I'm thinking the Nexus would be the best phone to get so far. So it's got the new OS. It's a Google phone, so you know it's going to get its updates. When you buy it from uh, from Telus or Bell or Rogers, it comes unlocked. It's not a lockdown phone, so right there, resale value's up. Same with buying an iPhone from Apple. It comes unlocked, so when you sell it, you don't have to say, well, it's on a Telus plan. You can say, it's an unlocked iPhone from, from Apple, and right there, that increases the value of it because then anybody can buy it, and you'll end up selling it fast. Mind you, to unlock a phone, it's not exactly rocket science. Holy shit. I just, like, fit myself into a pinhole. Sorry buddy who owns this Mazda beside me, you're not getting in your car. Any hoozle, I'm at work now. Um, and um, yeah, I'm seriously thinking about picking up that Nexus. They'd ever get any in frickin' stock. I already talked to Mushkin, or Mushkin's freak, I already talked to Muggin. They have the battery upgrade for it, like I got for my uh, P970 LG Optimus Black, so I can easily pick up a bigger battery for it and make it awesome as frig. So that, that, that's amazing, like right there. The battery, the, the stock battery comes with 750 milliamps. The bigger battery is like 3,000 3, milliamps. No, it's actually bigger than that, 3,800 milliamps. So that alone is awesome. Well, I'm going to head her inside and uh, get on with my day. It's currently, I'm here early. Holy shit, it's 337. Okay, well, I'm going to probably have a smoke and then head her inside, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. You know, it's 5.30 smoke time. Actually, it's 6 o'clock smoke time. I'm a little late coming out, but that happens. Weather's been nice today. I'll check this out. Friggin' moon. Yeah, the moon. Capus wasn't kidding when he said the zoom in this camera's pretty sweet, eh? <laughs> that was me holding it on a tripod. As you can tell, it got a little shaky there. But, uh, yeah, it's this weekend here that my girlfriend leaves for uh, down south to go visit her aunt. So it's just gonna be me, Oreo, and Felix home all weekend. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I don't know what the hell we're gonna get into, but one thing I gotta do is carry on working on that stupid snowblower and cleaning that out because I really wanna be able to uh, blow the driveway because tomorrow we're supposed to get more snow, which sucks, but what can you do? I guess we'll have to wait and see and go from there. But, well, I'm gonna power through my smoke and uh, carry on with the night. I think we're going for coffee again tonight. I'm not completely sure, but I'll keep you guys updated, and I'll talk to you later. Well, guys, it's lunchtime, and I uh, made an interesting discovery on my XPS computer. If you watch the unboxing video for that thing, you'll realize that uh, I talked about front-side USB ports. Well, I tried them out, and they didn't work. I looked inside the case to find out what the problem was, and I couldn't see the problem. Reason being, it's because the leads are tucked away. The leads for that, apparently, is for the USB 3.0 card. <laughs> so, when you get a USB 3.0 card, you're supposed to plug them into there so you get two front side USB 3.0 ports and two rear side USB 3.0 par ports. <coughs> so, I checked Newegg, and Newegg sells a card. That's a 3 plus 1, so you get three ports out back and one port inside the case to plug into that thing. So, it was cheap. It was like 19 bucks. So, I ordered that up for the uh, XPS. 
is I gradually do want to get an external USB 3.0 hard drive for it because it'll make it a lot nicer to uh, edit from. Right now I'm using that 500 gig drive that came out of the Acer. Yeah, it's okay, but it's kind of slow and I think a USB 3.0 drive would be a lot nicer. Time to see how fast Newegg ships. Guess we'll find out. But I just came out for my lunch, have a cigarette, gonna head her back inside and carry on. It's been dead, haven't had a call yet. Only call I had was a call out. Yeah, it's been slow all night. It's freaking awesome. Anywho, I'm gonna head her back inside. Talk to you guys later. Well, it's last break of the night, and uh, it's been a very slow night. Very, very slow night. I don't mind that. It's all right, I guess. It's also pretty nice out right now. It's not snowing. Clear skies. Looks pretty sweet. You know, just a simple night. Well, on March 10th and 11th, I think it is, Rex wanted me to go with him down to Toronto to go to um, some speed show, car show, automotive show of some fashion in Toronto. Kind of hopped the gun and told him, yeah, okay, man, sounds like a plan, I'll go. Didn't even think about it. That's the weekend before I go to Logie's, and that's the last weekend that I'm going to have before I leave to celebrate my birthday. And, you know, even though my family doesn't really do the birthday thing all that often, girlfriend's family, however, takes it kind of serious. So, yeah, I backed out. I can't go. So he'll have to, he'll go down on his own and meet up with Speed Freak TV and uh, friggin' give her. Go to the speed show. But yeah, I definitely cannot make it. You like that one? It's a pretty good one, eh? Not too much going on today. People are asking me if I'm gonna buy the iPad 3 when it comes out. There is this stupid picture floating around with a picture of a finger pointing at a calendar button on either an iPad or an iPhone. Hard to really tell. And all it says is uh, something new is coming. That's it. And everybody assumes it's the iPad 3. Which, mind you, Samsung, or they have been talking about the new A6 processor for a while. The iPad 3 or iPad 2 has been out since when? Frig mid last year. So it's due for a refresh. Same with the iPod Touch, frig sakes. That thing's been due for a refresh for a long time now. And the iPhone 4S just came out, but the same thing happened with the 3GS when the iPhone released the 3GS. I remember I was so excited because Telus finally has an iPhone. I'm like, yeah, I can switch to that. And then uh, they freaking get the iPhone, and then I get my iPhone, and like, not even three months later, they get the iPhone 4. I was like, for frig's sakes. I'll have to see what happens there, but you don't know what Apple's gonna do because they like to be all mysterious and do all these stupid little conspiracy theories and all that bullshit. So I just say, if they're gonna make an iPad 3, make a seven inch version for frig's sakes. Enough of these 10 inch versions. Make a seven inch, easy to carry version. I'd buy that. It'd be better than buying an iPod Touch, that's for sure. Unless they make an iPod Touch and make like a five inch iPod Touch, that'd be all right. I'd pick that up. Half the iPad, all the power, I'd do that. Even if they made it 2.99 for the 16 gig, I'd probably still pick it up. It'd be comparable to the Acer 10 inch, and uh, you'd have all your, all your iOS stuff. Because <coughs> I do miss a couple apps on the iOS that I don't have on my Droid, but you know, whatevs. But until they actually physically show something, a keynote or something, I'm not getting my hopes up. But anyway, I gotta rock a serious piss, so I'm gonna head her back inside, and I'll talk to you guys at midnight. Well, it's midnight, time to head home. You remember that ice on the side of my wheel well I said I was gonna kick off? Yeah. It's pretty friggin' thick. I'm not kicking it off. <laughs> so, we'll have to attack that tomorrow with something a little bit heavier, like a hammer or something, because um, it's friggin' nice. We're gonna have to chip that off with something steel, because I'm gonna break my plastic scraper. But uh, I'm gonna head her home now, so let's pitter patter and get at her and get her asses home. Yeah. How's that for fuel range? Yeah. Alrighty, well, I'm home now. <sighs> Shut up, computer. I'm home now, and, uh,. Shut up computer. I'm probably gonna shut the vlog down here guys. It's getting really late and I want to get to bed like yesterday So if you like today's video, you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button Let me know you like the video and I like that and if you have any questions comments concerns by all means leave them in the comment section below And I'll be sure to respond and until next time guys keep on vlogging I'm a smurf. Yeah.